Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. My name is Larissa and today I am going to react to another Patreon request. Uh, the video I am going to react to is called Mustang Magic 2023. It is a 100 day training challenge and uh, from what I understood is that um, this uh, woman uh, trains horses. She got this uh, Mustang and now they're training it for 100 days. I mean there's not a lot more to understand about that i think so yeah this was a patreon request um for the rest i don't know anything about horses like i'm allergic to horses so i can't even really get near one um i think horses are really beautiful creatures though so um yeah i think it would be fun to learn a bit more about them and um yeah, let's just see how this journey goes. Before I start, I do want to tell you that uh, if you want to request your own video for me to react to, that is all possible. Uh, you can check out the different tiers on my Patreon and see what's possible there. Uh, the link is in the description. And then now I am going to react to this video. This is my Mustang's journey over the past 100 days through the Mustang Magic Trainers Challenge. My name's Sam, I am 23 and I spend my life training horses. I compete in these events called the Extreme Mustang Makeover. They are events put on by the Mustang Heritage Foundation. MHF's mission is to help find forever homes for thousands of these horses and burrows each year. They are dedicated to removing these animals from BLM holding pens and placing them into homes in private care through innovative programs, events, and education. Programs such as the Extreme Mustang Makeover were created to help with that. And that's what I do. The Mustang Magic that's really nice. is an invite-only event based on how you perform in a regular Mustang makeover. I have now completed and competed in 10 of these events, 11 if you count this current one. I document my training in videos to follow along with the progress of each Mustang. Without further ado, I will introduce you to my current Mustang, Moscato. She is for the 2023 Mustang Magic Trainers Challenge. Moscato is a five-year-old bay mare gathered from Fish Creek, Nevada. Her training journey starts right after I completed my last Mustang makeover, which took place in Fort Worth, Texas in September of 2022. That is so cool if that's Mustang just your life. I was preparing and getting ready to pick her up and start the journey all over again. <laughs> That's so cute. That is so adorable. Just getting used to her and all. <clears throat> oh, I also meant to say this um, up front, but there is a lot of music in this video and I don't know what of it is copyright claimed. So there is a possibility that it may be quiet in the background, but then you know it's because of a copyrighted song. That's why I'm also doing it with headphones. That 
Damn. <laughs> I feel like it would be so cool to just be able to train an animal. Like, where do you even start? I sometimes try to make my cat sit for a cookie, but cookie. My cat doesn't eat cookies. He, he eats cheese and meat. But I try to make him sit, but he's like, nah, don't think so. never been on a rope before. <coughs> Damn. Don't you also need to have a lot of strength for that? Are we gonna see all 100 days in 26 minutes? That's impressive. Don't think all days, but. I suppose stuff with horses is just also her job, right? Because where do you get the time to train a horse for a hundred days otherwise? Oh, I like the braids! Cute. Half of the time I have no idea what she's doing, but it looks professional. gonna see all the days. Damn. Oh, oh baby. <laughs> I really like the braids. It's so cute. Honestly, how do people get on horses like that?
for some reason, um, even though I'm really allergic to horses, I went to ride a horse like four years ago, I think. It was in a circus, I think, and you could like um, ride the horse. And I was like, sure. I haven't been close to a horse ever since I found out I was allergic. Let's just try it one more time. And all the children, they could get up so easy. And then I was struggling and it was so embarrassing. Like they're big creatures. Would have settled this time. Honestly, this horse's hair is such a sleigh, I keep saying it. Like the bangs. <laughs> Ooh, what? The grey one is so pretty, like the light grey one. Such a cutie. I don't know how you call it. I wanted to say um, shiny fur, but I don't think you call it fur if it's a horse, right? Because it's not fur, it's just... Or do you? I don't know. Oh, it seems like he's pretty okay with it. Oh, day 45. Okay, time jump. <laughs> pretty fast. I think we're all- oh, we're already halfway to video. Damn. Oh. Hmm. But like, uh, how long does this go? Because it's set 2023, so... I suppose it's not that long ago. She uploaded it on February 2nd. Okay. <laughs> I love how the horse just follows her. Like in the beginning, he was just kinda like... I don't know what's going on, but then you really see that the horse starts to trust her. It's very cool. Pet 
Feral race. Exciting. Dedication. I do feel like when she's on the horse, the horse looks way smaller than... Than I thought it was. <laughs> huh. Going through the obstacles. <laughs> or just like the fuck is going on, sure. those things. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> the way he was looking, it felt like he was so invested. Is it a him actually or am I constantly misgendering the horse? I think she said it in the beginning but I forgot. Oh, the way he's sitting in the back. Oh, mm. How do you call it? Like a... I don't know. I thought it was like a sitting bag or something. But like it is so wild to me that she just does this with different horses. Oh, what is he wearing? <laughs> or maybe this is she, I don't know. <clears throat> but like you do this process for like a hundred days with one horse and then you just move on to the next one. Because I feel like you build up a pretty strong bond with... A horse like oh pretty <laughs> slay slay horse <laughs> I'm really falling in love with this horse it's so cute To me, how he just sits down in, in that kind of stuff.
Loft ahead. What few of us knew, our troubles lifted, weighed heavy on you. So long, my friend. Oh, so pretty. The song is really making me emotional. It's like our road has come to an end and we're almost at day 100 and I'm like... <laughs> it's, it's such a nice video though because you really follow the entire journey. It's very interesting. <clears throat> They have the same hair. <laughs> talented, so talented. I honestly didn't know that was a thing for horses to sit like that. <laughs> We know he's gonna have a good home. Go say hi! <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
Hmm. It's so wild to me how the. Oh, that's cute. How the the faces are so big. You can just hug it like that. Oh. So cute. Oh my god. I could no, but I could not sell the horse after training them for a hundred days. But yeah, I mean, she does it a lot, so you can keep every horse, of course. <laughs> Aww, the emo hair. <laughs> Aww. That's so cute, I might cry. <laughs> I will cry. <laughs> Crying over a horse. <laughs> I think that says enough about like the video is just it's so well made because you really follow the journey from the beginning. And I think what's making me mostly emotional right now is just the idea of training this horse in the beginning. You really see like the horse is not sure about what's going on, and he tr starts to trust her way more. And then, um, yeah, after everything, the horse goes to a new owner. I mean, that's normal, of course. <laughs> but, like, I don't know. I was really invested in their journey. <laughs> oh, it was so cute. Yeah. Like, I honestly think horses are beautiful creatures. But I feel like in this video, in these 26 minutes, I almost fully got to know the horse. Like, the, the way it was trained. Um... Kind of like how his character was, and I don't know, it was just all so cute. Damn. <laughs> yeah, for someone who doesn't know anything about horses and was just like, sure, a horse video, let's check it out. I think, um, yeah, it touched me quite a bit. <laughs> no, but it was a really nice, nice video. Um, I really want to ask you to uh, check out Sam's uh, channel. So I put the link in the description, also the link to just the full video. Um... Yeah, I haven't checked out more from her, but um, yeah, I'm, oh, I'm so invested in the journey. Yeah, it was, a, it was a very interesting video. Also because I have no idea how horses are trained. Um, you know, I don't know anything about horses, so it was interesting. So yeah, like I said, check out uh, Sam's channel as well. And if you want to request your own video, check out my Patreon. And then that was my reaction. I'm also very curious to, to know what you people thought of my reaction. Especially people who know more about horses. Like if I said some things wrong or whatever. Just let me know. I'm just a dumb, uneducated, not horse person. So yeah. With that said, I hope you like my reaction. Did you? Then please leave a like. Subscribe. And then I really hope to see you at my next videos. Bye.